Hello and welcome to today's video. Let's see what happens when we decompose C3H5 and 3O9. We get carbon dioxide, nitrogen, oxygen, and water. Now all the products in this reaction are going to be in gaseous state, even the water. And it's going to be extremely hot because this reaction is an exothermic reaction. Let me remind you one thing. This equation is a little tricky to balance because of the number of oxygen. Let's see what's the trick. Counting the number of atoms at the reactant side, let's see. Carbon is equals to 3. Hydrogen, 5. Nitrogen, 3. And oxygen, 9. On the product side, carbon is 1. Hydrogen is 2. Nitrogen is also 2. And oxygen, 2 plus 2 plus 1. What do we get? We get 5. Now, all the numbers on the reactant side are odd number, and I like my numbers even. So if I put two as a coefficient here, it means I have to multiply all of these with two. Let's see, three multiplied by two is six, five multiplied by two is 10, three multiplied by two is six again, and nine multiplied by two is 18. Let's start with balancing at the product side. So if I put a coefficient 6 here, this means I have to multiply my carbon with 6 and I get 6 carbon atoms. Carbons on both sides are equal. Now this means this 6 has to be multiplied by O2. So 6 multiplied by 2, we get 12. Now it's time to update the number of oxygens. Let's see. 12 plus 2 plus 1 and we get 15. Now let's balance hydrogen. Here the number of hydrogen is 10. So I multiply it with 5 on the product side to make it equals to 10. I put 5 here as a coefficient which means that this 5 is also multiplying with this oxygen here. Again, time to update the number of oxygens. 12 plus 2 plus 5 and we get 19. This here and this here are not balancing. So let's see. If I put half here, the fraction 1 over 2, it means that I get one oxygen atom from the molecular oxygen. So now I again count the number of oxygens 12 plus 1 plus 5 and I get 18. Now this oxygen is balanced. One thing that is still unbalanced is this nitrogen. So I have to make it equal to 6. I put 3 here which means 2 multiplied by 3 is equals to 6. Comparing both sides, 6 here, 6 here for carbon, 10 here, 10 here for hydrogen, 6 here and 6 here for nitrogen, and 18 and 18 here for oxygen. This equation is balanced. Thank you very much.